Girls, what was the most obvious hint you dropped and the guy just didn't get it? We were playing life and he was the police officer. The rule is, if you spin a 10, he gets your speeding fines. I literally pulled open my button down and exposed my breasts and said, what can I do to get out of paying this? He said, ma'am, I am an officer of the law. Are you trying to prostitute yourself to me? A couple days of flirting and physical innuendo later, I literally had to spell out that I was trying to frick him. We've been together six years now. Yo, that dude is serious about his role-playing. I'm the guy in this situation, but I couldn't help not sharing the story. In college, this girl I was really into asked if I wanted to hang out at my dorm and drink and watch Netflix. She came over and we were watching and drinking on the couch in the living room, per my suggestion. Things were going good, and about an hour into it, she says, Ooh, let me see your room. So we go to my room. She takes her shoes and socks off and immediately sprawls herself out on my bed and says, Oh my god, your bed is so comfortable. I responded with, We live in the same building. It's the same bed as yours. She left about ten minutes later. Oh my freaking god, dude, lol. Honestly, I think I reacted in a similar way. He told me my hair looked nice. I said, bet it would look nicer with your hands in it. He said in a very confused tone, you want me to style your hair? (laughs) This one is great. At least he managed to say he was clueless. We were talking about canoes and I said, I'm like a canoe because I'm wet and you can go inside me. And he said, canoes aren't really wet. Some people think he was rejecting me, but we ended up dating for two years. When my boyfriend and I had just started dating, we were laying down watching a movie, but this was a small bed, and he was being respectful and giving me space. I kept wiggling backwards so I could get closer to him, and he kept inching backwards too, since he thought I was just trying to get comfortable and he was in the way. He ended up sitting in a chair next to the bed. Three years later, we are still together, and I still think it's pretty funny. He told me that when he was in the chair, he purposefully left his hand next to me in case I wanted to hold it but I guess I missed that sign too. He didn't get out of the bed because he was uncomfortable. He truly thought he was taking up too much space and didn't realize I was trying to cuddle. This one made me laugh out loud. Imagining him scooting all the way off the bed just to give you space is so sweet, lol. A couple of weeks ago, to my boyfriend of three years, me, undresses and lays naked on the couch, waiting to bone. Him, makes a dumb joke, ooh, you're naked, that's so weird. Me, dies a little bit inside. After chatting for hours on top of a mountain from sunset until like 2 a.m., sharing a blanket, me leaning my head on his shoulder, telling him he's attractive, etc., he turns to me and says, How do you tell if a girl is into you? He suspected that you were hinting and gave you a way to confirm or deny. Good move on his part. I'm a guy, but I once had an experience where I took the hint but still got rejected. A girl had asked me if I lost my virginity yet. We were in high school. When I said I hadn't, she said that I could practice on her whenever I want. Mind you, we were walking home after school because we lived close. I try to act on this hint when we get to her house, and she said she was only joking and doesn't want it to be weird with us as friends. Before we started dating, I told my current boyfriend, I love you. And he said, aw, I love you too, you're such a good friend. The whole time, we thought we were both friends owning each other. Wasted half a year going in circles, shaking my head. I guess it does get a little tricky being a guy, because I would never want to make a girl feel uncomfortable, or that I'm forcing her into something. It kind of makes friendly gestures and hints sound real similar. It's best to be friendly. Guy here was invited back to study by one of the girls in my class at her apartment. We're about half an hour in, and she says she might take a shower. I'm like, okay, kind of random, but okay. Anyway, she starts telling me the door to the shower is broken, so don't come in says it three or four more times. Again, I'm like, okay, weird she's said that multiple times, but okay. An hour later, the shower is still running. I can hear her singing and humming away, so I know she's okay and hasn't drowned. Thinking, gee, that's a long shower though. Water goes off and she comes out dressed and says, you didn't come in? I'm confused as I'm like, what the F? She told me not to. She sits back down, clearly distracted and not wanting to study. We wrap up after five minutes. Drive home. Mate asks me how study was about a week later. In the situation, which I hadn't even given a single brain cell of thought to since, I explain to him. As I'm saying it out loud, the penny drops as to what a big F-head I am. 
She's the idiot, not you. She literally told you not to come in. It's entirely reasonable not to come in. So, answering in lieu of my late wife here, I, husband, am dumb. Like, really dumb. She and I met and became friends very quickly, but I didn't know she apparently had a huge crush on me. I thought she was out of my league, and apparently she thought I was out of her league too, but she couldn't stop the feels. She rubbed her feet on me while we were talking, asked me in detail about my package, gave me her phone number with the line, hit me up if you want pizza and fricking. We went out to lunch, she offered to fillet me for a Dr. Pepper, and she was very insistent that we got Meat Lover's Pizza when I asked her what she wanted for watching a movie later. After we watched the movie, she was in my bed. I figured she was just wanting to keep warm and cuddle, but she strutted into my bathroom stark naked, and I had some double D's staring at me. She kissed me and told me, I want you to frick me, you idiot. A regular romance story there. In my defense, she had a really warped sense of humor, and I thought she was kidding with all that stuff. It felt so natural with us being friends that the thought didn't even cross my mind, until she propositioned me that there was potential for more. I'd had some really fricked up exes, and I thought romance was something where I had to jump through hoops for the other person and wait on them hand and foot. But she was different. That's why she was the one who I got on one knee for. Advice to the ladies out there? If my wife telling me, I want you to frick me, got through my legendarily thick skull, I think as a last resort, that'll get through to anybody. This was really sweet, and I hope you're doing okay. I asked a guy on a festival to come take a shower with me. He didn't get it. He just repeated there was only one free shower, and I was like, well, they're big. I'm sure it's fine. And he just looked confused and told me I could go first. We became close friends since that happened about two years ago, and this summer I spoke to him about it, and he really had no idea. He did the biggest facepalm I've ever seen. Before my boyfriend asked me out, he kept hinting at the fact that we were both single and everyone thought we would be cute together. I was like, <laughs> yeah, not realizing he was trying to ask me out. I'm not as brutally upfront as some of these people, but mine happened yesterday. How do I know a girl is flirting with me, he asks. She touches you a lot while you two are talking. I cannot relate at all. That never happens to me. I'm sure it does, I tell him and hit his arm. I can't think of any time that's ever happened. For Valentine's a couple of years ago, I mailed my husband a package. The note said, and I quote, I want you now. I was ready to spring into some extra fun steamy time whenever he opened the package. I had to sit him down and explain a couple of hours later. He was like, oh... Yeah, my wife's learned to just holler, come to bed now. Otherwise, I'm a dumb arse that doesn't get it. On our first date, my current boyfriend and I went out to dinner, to a bar, and eventually back to his house to watch scary movies. After hanging out for almost eight hours at that point, practically cuddling into him the entire time we were watching movies, dropping as many hints as I could, around 3 a.m. when we were both fighting to stay awake, I finally had to look his dumb arse in the eye and ask, so are you going to kiss me or not? Though he was totally oblivious, it did show his good heart. He was about to let me fall asleep on his couch and spend the night without even trying to kiss me. I knew he was a keeper after that. Guy here, but once had a girl drag me into the bathroom while at a college party, saying she needed help finding her marker slash pen. We didn't find it, and I figured out what was really going on a year later. When I was about 35, I lived in a beach town near a university. My neighbors were all college kids. Next door was two college girls. One was always flirting with me. One hot summer day, she turned up at my door in nothing but a long t-shirt. She asked if she could hang out in the AC. I said sure, and she came over to the sofa I was sitting long ways on and laid with her back to my chest and asked if we could snuggle. I was okay with that. She then asked me to rub her belly, which I did, as you can imagine, after about an hour, I was getting a little worked up and touched her breast while rubbing her belly. She jumped up and stormed out. I was like, what the F? She later said she didn't see me like that. I asked her why she'd show up almost naked, lay between my legs like couples do, and ask me to rub her belly, and then get pissed when I try to progress things. She said she looks at me like a big brother. I was like, what the F is your family like? And that is why so many guys in this thread didn't get the hints. It isn't a universal thing. I had a girl invite me around her house once just to show me her posters. They were all of Harley-Davidson motorbikes, 
and she said she'd never ridden a Harley before. Awkward silence, and after a few other short bits of small talk, I decided to be on my way. Two years later, I'm sitting on the bus and realize what she meant. Harley. Ridden a Harley. My name is Harley. Dang, I feel so bad for her. That's a perfect line, too. One time, a girl straight up asked if I wanted to take my pants off, and I didn't get it. I was like, nah, they're actually not uncomfortable at all. Usually, when a girl asks you to take off your pants, it's for their comfort. No one wants to come in contact with the kind of tough fabric a lot of pants are made of when they're sleeping. Also, always take off your belts. That's just cruel to accidentally poke someone with your belt buckle. Literally said, I want to be yours. And the dude just keeps smiling and goes on about random space facts. That one hurt a bit. I'm a guy, but I can share my density as the guy that missed the hints. I went to a store where there was a girl I liked in college. We used to small talk while I browsed and never bought anything, being a poor college student. This one time I came in the store and she and I chatted a bit while I shopped. She complained, I'm going to be home alone tonight, my family is out of town. I replied, oh that's too bad. She says, I'm off at 5 today, it was 4 at the time, what are you up to tonight? I'm up for anything. Oh nothing, just sitting at home and watching a movie. My brain must have completely self-destructed, because the conversation ended there. I never saw her again after that, she either quit or was avoiding me. I must have been in a daze from school to miss that cue. School does that to me too. Plus the fact that I'm shy and therefore believe I never get attention adds to the oblivious bliss. We were discussing costumes and I sent a picture of me in my bunny suit and said I'd need help out of it. His response was telling me he hoped my roommate was home or that would suck. I had to tell him I was implying I'd like him to take it off me and it took him a minute to catch up. Anyone concerned about it being very much a suggestive picture? I'm not sure it could have been perceived as just friendly. And no, you won't be getting proof of said picture for those in my DMs, lol. I was very much ready to hit him with the bat of bluntness because we get along great and he'd seemed flirty with me before. Invited him over to watch a movie, eventually laying my legs across his lap and hard flirting, but after four movies, I had to finally make the move. We'd been flirting via text, obscene texts, exchanging nudes, etc. I had previously told him to his face that I liked him, and I'm giving him the green light to make any move. Still nothing after a month of dating. I seem to always take the lead on things, and I like assertiveness, but I wanted to give him the opportunity to feel like he could be in control, that it was okay. I was very direct many times. We'd had several discussions about it. Still nothing. Even after I finally made the move, I had to literally say, I want to frick you. I once was modeling clothes I planned to take on vacation for my boyfriend. After showing off a couple of outfits, I told him to close his eyes and changed into lingerie. He opened his eyes and I asked him what he thought. His jaw dropped and he said, you can't wear that outside. I put my clothes back on. Not a girl, but I was staying a night at a hotel and the hotel bar had just closed. I went out front for a smoke and start chatting with two women. We shoot the crap for a few minutes and then all head back into the hotel and to the elevator. We get in, they press 15, I press 9. And one of them turns to me and says, I don't suppose there's a secret bar on the ninth floor we can go to? My dumb butt response, No, but you can grab a cab and be at a bar in 10 minutes. Then the door opens and I leave. He invited me to his house to watch a movie after a few dates. He ended up playing League of Legends for hours while I was laying in his bed and asked him many times if he would like to join. Sorry, just one more match. We dated for two years. We matched on Bumble, dating app that the girl has to talk first, and I started a convo with him. He thought I just matched him because we were friends. Uh, no, it's a dating app. We didn't start dating until almost a year after that. We're married now. What girls don't realize is that guys have to ride an incredibly thin line between being a dog and being a gentleman. Girls want a guy who won't paw at them the whole courtship, but who will recognize little hints and make the first move. It's an incredibly nerve-wracking position to be in. My advice to girls would be, don't drop hints, say what you mean. As a guy, to any girls reading this, you have no idea how easy it is to miss hints. Please be more obvious. We are also really bad at being scared of taking signals wrong. 
I'd hazard to guess most clueless men are actually trying to not be a dong because they don't want to lose a friend, be seen as a creep, or end up in prison. I went out of my way to come in early and talk to this guy every day for like a month before someone else told him I was into him. I also repeatedly told him I liked him. He thought I was just being nice. When a girl admits to liking you, a guy faces a dilemma. One, you could be joking and pulling his leg. Two, you just sympathize for him, or you like him as a friend, and that's it. A girl came to my house once and spent the night. Around the time for bed, she told me she doesn't sleep with a top on or panties. I told her that's okay, I'll sleep on the couch so she can be comfy. She called me from downstairs later that night and told me she couldn't sleep and she was cold. I figured, well, obviously, you're naked. So I gave her another blanket and went back downstairs. I'm glad everyone is laughing at my pain. I've tried responding the best I can, but some of you guys are getting weirdly mean, and it kills the mood. Dang, I hope she wasn't hot. A guy I'm currently seeing invited me camping earlier this month. We were cuddling, and I noted how nice the showers are in the bathroom at the provincial park. I said, they're really warm, and lots of space for two people, trying to hint for him to join me for steamy time. This man, without missing a beat, says... Actually, you could fit like 10 people in those showers. We laughed about it really hard the next weekend, and he said, I knew what you were getting at, but my brain just wanted to answer it logically. I like that guy. I used to be oblivious. Probably still am. There was a girl at a local grocery store who was flirting with me, but of course I didn't get it. After quite a bit of this, I leave town for a few months, and we're corresponding via email. I can't remember why, but I was asking her a string of silly questions, like, why is the sky blue? Chicken or the egg first? Where do babies come from? Etc. She answered them all, saving where do babies come from for last, and answered it with, when you get back, I'm going to show you. I got that one. My buddy in college was stressing over when to make the move to kiss a girl he liked. While we encouraged him to not wait for the perfect moment and just go for it, he admitted he should have tried to kiss her when they were in the shower. If this is the truth, I think I need a brick for my own head. I had a girl go out with me after work once for dinner, have some drinks, go back to my house, get too drunk to drive home, so I put her to bed in the spare room and never even attempted to kiss her. She left in the morning early and hated me after that. It was after work, so she followed me back to my house in her own car. That was the obvious hint I missed, is what I assume now. Friend was complaining he was hot because of his long sleeve shirt. I said, oh, I'm sure you'd be just as hot without the shirt. He was so unaware, but I finally just kissed him. Did something similar when it was 90 degrees out. My crush at the time said, God, I'm so freaking hot. And I replied, now you're just stating the obvious. I'm a guy, but one time I was hanging with a longtime friend of mine who I used to have a crush on and who knew that I had a crush on her and had rejected me numerous times over seven to eight years in her dorm. We decided that we were both tired, but her other bed was occupied by our other friend, so I was going to lay down on the floor. She was like, there's room in my bed for you any time. So I hop in bed with her, thinking nothing of it. The next few minutes were kind of a blur, but eventually we were literally hugging with her leg wrapped around me, and she looked me in the eyes, bit her lip, and said that she was frisky. I never made a move beyond that since she had spent the past almost decade of my life rejecting my advances. That wasn't a hint. That was plain, I want to frick you. But it was smart of you not to go any further with that. It would have only exacerbated your feelings and confused you even more. Although I'm sure that alone confused you. It's completely fine if she doesn't want to be with you, but she shouldn't have tried to take advantage of you in that moment. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.